Hi, welcome to Holy Habitus, a video blog on discipleship. Today we're in the One Year Bible reading plan for May the 16th, and I thought I'd look at John 8, verses 31 to 32. Amazing teaching. Here it goes. Jesus said to the people who believed in him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. It's great, isn't it? And it's, uh, it fits in this whole theme of discipleship, which this video blog is all about. And it says this, you are truly Jesus' disciples if you remain faithful to his teachings. It's quite a simple concept, really. We tend to make discipleship an airy-fairy, mystical affair. And actually, it's got quite practical and nuts and bolts, you know, flesh and blood, let's get down and just seek to become like Jesus and to live out his teachings in our lives. I came across a great quotation from Dallas Willard, the late Dallas Willard, uh, last week. It says this, The disciple is one who, intent upon becoming Christ-like, and so dwelling in his faith and practice, systematically and progressively rearranges his affairs to that end. By these decisions and actions, even today, one enrolls in Christ's training. That's great, isn't it? In other words, a disciple, an apprentice of Jesus, is one who is intent upon becoming like Jesus and who systematically and progressively rearranges his or her affairs to that end. And that's just about decisions and actions on a daily level. So the challenge this week is about that. So how can we move today towards being a little bit more Christ-like? What teaching of Jesus have we not yet integrated into our holy habitus and how can we do that? There might be an instantaneous thing we can just do or it might be a habit that we need to start working on incorporating so we become more Christ-like. What's that thing for you? Can you identify it today? Is it praying for your enemies or forgiving somebody or is it giving to the poor or is it fasting in secret or, or is it praying? Is it What is it? You decide um, and try and come up with that today. But there are great benefits to doing this because as we live the Jesus life, Jesus promises us two things from that, like those verses we just looked at. He promises us that we'll know the truth. As we're in the flow of God's purposes, we begin to be able to discern and name the truth, know the truth. And also with that comes freedom and the truth will set you free. And there's a great freedom that comes as we submit to the way of Christ and as we start living as, as God intended us to live. There's a freedom there. There's also joy, and I thought I'd just leave you with the first verse of the psalm we read today, Psalm 112, which says this, Praise the Lord, how joyful are those who fear the Lord and delight in obeying his commands.